Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I am talking about if you think you're, there is no chance to get your ex back, watch this, okay? So one of the strange things that I found in my own life is that exes usually come back in your life when you've become a lot less detached from the outcome. Right, so you're not as attached anymore to what's happening. You're not as attached anymore to, you know, them coming back, basically. You've moved on, essentially, right? And you've really healed and you've got over it. You've you've been able to see, basically, that it's all happened for a reason, that the, maybe the, the breakup happened for your benefit. You're at peace with it, basically. And um, so, for example, in my own life, um, when I broke up with a girl... Um, and it wasn't like a big long relationship so it was only like about three months but when I broke up with her I remember being quite upset about it for a few days Um, and then it got to a point where I just didn't care anymore like I really didn't mind anymore that the breakup had happened even though I was the one that did the dumping and I got to a place where I was like yeah okay this this is all cool this is fine Um, and uh, I'm just gonna find someone else basically and that's gonna be that's gonna be great Um, and surprisingly what happened is what she she actually re-added me on Facebook right and she started talking to me again right because I accepted the friend request because again at that point I didn't really care that much and then she started talking to me and we almost arranged getting back together or get you know meeting up again because I was sort of thinking you know back on the relationship a little bit of nostalgia thinking of all the fun times that we had and I was kind of ignoring the red flags and the bad things that weren't that great so when she started messaging me again and we almost met up um I had to cancel meeting up with her because I was like no I really shouldn't get back with this person this isn't a good idea even though uh, there were times when I thought mm, maybe that would be a good idea maybe that would be quite nice but um I decided against that and I didn't actually agree to meet up with her but you see that they came back at a point at a stage where I had you know no longer cared where I really wasn't that interested anymore right so I feel like sometimes that kind of happens a lot right it's kind of weird it's like one of those like paradoxes of the universe that when you stop caring that's when you get results and that seemed to that just appeared to be what happened to me and what happened in that circumstance and it was really weird it was kind of a bit spooky actually because I really got to that place where I just didn't care anymore and I think sometimes if you get to that place where you don't care anymore and you're happy and you feel like oh yeah you know I can move on with my life um I can find someone better um and that's when your ex comes back and then of course then you get to choose right you get to choose okay so do I do I get back with the ex or do I just, you know, let it go and move on? And then you can kind of stop things on your terms, especially if you were the one that got dumped. And sometimes that can be really empowering for someone who's got dumped and their ex comes back and then you refuse to take them back. And that's a really powerful moment for, so for a lot of people who've gone through that. Because that, because it then feels like you're ending it on your terms when at the beginning they ended it on their terms. Um, so an- another point as well is if you think there's no chance that your ex is coming back. <clears throat> It's important to know that actually your ex can come back and your ex will come back if, but only if, they still have feelings for you and they're still interested in you and they're still attracted to you, still kind of feel pulled towards you basically. They still feel that attraction, right? And if they still have that attraction for you, then they will come back eventually, right? They will um, start missing you, start wondering about you and they'll come back, right? Um, So... And even if they don't, so what's important as well is even if they don't come back, that shouldn't really bother you too much either. Because if they don't come back, then you can just make room in your life to find someone better, right? And sometimes one of the best ways to get over an ex, um, or you know, to really give you that last push to help you get over them completely, is if you find someone who is better looking than your ex, someone who you get on with more than your ex, someone who, you know, is just a better companion, who wants the same things as you, someone who's just just way better than your ex on all levels, right? And if you can find someone like that, then that really gives you that last push, that last piece of healing to actually fully get over your ex. Now, of course, it's a good idea to take some time to get over them um, before you start dating again. So I always say to people, look, you know what, if you've been dating, if if you were together basically for more than a year or a year or more than a year, then you should probably need about a year or a year and a half to get over them. But if you was only dating for like a few months, then you probably only need about six months to get over them, okay? But it's important that you take that time to heal, take that time to get over it, and to give yourself time. Because getting over someone um, 
isn't easy, right? And some days you're going to have better days than others. Other days, you know, some days you're going to feel really bad and you're going to feel really sad and you're going to really miss them. And then you can have other days where you feel pretty good and you feel like you are getting over them and that you feel like you are progressing. And how you'll know if you've healed is if you start to have more days where you feel better than others, right? And on those bad days, it's a lot less intense than what it used to be. Like the sadness and the the grieving, basically, of that relationship is a lot less intense. And you just sort of sometimes reminisce and it doesn't hurt so much. And if it's got to a point where it no longer hurts or it doesn't hurt as much, then you know that you're ready to move on and you're, you're ready to start dating again, okay? And you've gotten over it, basically. So, um... The important thing is, though, is that when it comes to getting your ex back or finding someone new, you have to be ready, right? You have to be in that place where you're mentally ready to, to, to have that person back in your life or to have someone new in your life. And I think one of the best ways that you can do this is by reading up on some books on relationships and, and things like that and dating because you've got to know basically how to communicate with the opposite sex, what kind of attracts the opposite sex, especially if you really don't understand the opposite sex. Like if you don't know how, um, you know, what's going on in the opposite. Like if you say, like, oh, I never understand women or I never understand men, then it's important that you find a way to do that, right? Because if you understand how a, a, the brain of a man works or the brain of a woman works, you're more likely to be able to be able to communicate with them properly so they are more attracted to you and they feel comfortable around you and things like that. And there's less arguments essentially as well. So it's, it's less of a toxic relationship where you're always kind of being passive aggressive or arguing all the time. So one of the best books that I think does this is Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. That's a great book on communication, especially in relationships. Um, also, just the top of my head, A Free Percent Man by Corey Wayne is a good dating book. And also Models by Mark Manson is a good dating book. You'll be able to find some of these books in the description of um, this, this video. Um, and basically, if you purchase any of those books through that link, then I'll get a small commission, which is no extra charge to you, by the way. Um, but it really does help me out. It helps you know, keep my business afloat and things like that. So if you want to support me in any way, that's a great way to support me. Um, you can also support me in some free ways by just liking this video and subscribing and leaving a comment as well because that always, that always really does help me out. So if you would do that, and it's a free thing to do, so I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but it's important that you know um, these kinds of things, like what those books have to offer. Now, of course, again, like you don't have to get those books through me. You could just go on my page, on that page, and just write down the titles of those books and then go and get them out yourself at the local library for free. Or you can find cheaper versions on um, eBay or Amazon or something like that. But <clears throat> the point is, is that if you feel like you do not understand the opposite sex, you don't understand what attracts them, you don't understand how to communicate with them, then it's really important that you read upon that kind of knowledge. Um, even the very least you could do is look at those um, look at those book titles and find a summary of them on YouTube or something like that just to give you some information, right? So that should really really benefit you. Um, but it's important that if you get your ex back, right? If you do get your ex back, that you know how to sort of resolve things. You know how to communicate with them, right? Because if your ex comes back and nothing has changed and you don't know how to work with them, you don't know how to you know. Um, you know, communicate with them or you don't have to date them, you don't know what attracts them, right? Basically what's going to happen is that it's just going to fall apart again. Or you find someone new, but you haven't learned how to communicate, you haven't learned how to, to you haven't learned what attracts them, what is attractive to them. Um, then again, you're just going to mess up, right? And you're just going to get yourself another ex, basically. So it's important that you get a good, well-rounded knowledge. Because you know what? There are some people who innately know these kinds of things. They know how to communicate with the opposite sex. They know what attracts the opposite sex because they had good role models growing up. But unfortunately, a lot of us didn't have good role models growing up or um, we had like some trauma in our lives that kind of messed up our worldview and we don't know these things, right? There are some people who know innately what to do, but there are some people that need to learn what to do. And I was one of those people. I needed to learn how to attract the girls that I liked. I needed to learn how to communicate with women because I just didn't understand, right? I just didn't understand. I didn't get it. I didn't get how relationship dynamics work. I didn't understand anything. And that's why all of my relationships before I started learning this stuff myself were just rubbish, right? And if you've always had consistent rubbish relationships and they've always been total crap, 
basically, right? Then you there may be some gaps in your knowledge that you need to fill that these books definitely will, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get in touch with me personally and you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.